Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video or if you have never seen my face before Hi, my name is Marloes and welcome to my channel In today's video I will be sharing my everyday makeup routine and therefore I am looking a little bit naked because I have nothing on my face except for a little bit of skincare and prep so yeah, we are just going to do my makeup, how I do it on a day-to-day -day basis. And because I work four days a week, this makeup look is very quick, very easy and also very lightweight in my opinion. So I thought it would be fun to share with you my everyday makeup routine. Before we dive into all the makeup stuff, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. And click the little notification bell so you will be updated on all the new videos I post on this channel. And while you're at it, also give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy these makeup related videos. And without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, I'm going to bring you guys a little bit closer so you can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, hopefully this is close enough. <laughs> Um, first thing I always do in the morning is obviously wash my face, prep my skin, do some skincare. But yeah, I do not want this video to be extremely long. So I already did that part. So we can actually start straight away with the makeup. But yeah, because I have a lot of hair, let's get that out of the way. Before I start with any makeup i really wanted to say a quick little disclaimer that i am not a beauty guru not even yeah not even in the makeup like category whatsoever so a lot of stuff that i am going to do is probably wrong but i just really wanted to share a normal basic girl makeup routine because not everyone is like up there with their makeup skills and I am one of those people I'm nowhere near up here or even further up there but this is just how I do my makeup so let's start the first thing I always start with after I prepped my skin is my foundation and I have a very lightweight foundation a BB cream because I really love my freckles and I just want them to peep through. So I am always using the Maybelline Dream Setting BB Cream and I am using the shade 02 Light. And this is Skin Perfecting Beauty Balm and Hydrating Serum. And I'm just going to apply this with a beauty blender all over my face. I just grabbed a new beauty blender so everything is actually going into the sponge and not on my face but let's see what i have to apply i have my mirror right here so if i'm looking this way constantly it's because i'm checking the mirror All right, the foundation is done. After that, I am going in with concealer and I also have a Maybelline product for that. This is the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser Multi-Use Concealer. And I actually have this in the shade 00. So that is probably the palest shade they have. And I think that everybody knows this by now. It is just the clicky thing with the little sponge applicator. And I just use this to conceal my face. And a little bit on my eyelids. And this is also going to be blended out with a beauty blender. Okay. 
and after my concealer I am always trying to give my cheeks a little bit of depth my skin and my face a little bit of depth so I am using this well it is supposed to be a concealer stick that I uh, received in one of the beauty boxes but yeah this is not really my type of shade so I actually use this as a contour stick this is by the brand La Ritzy Cosmetics and I use the shade Mahalo and I'm just going to pop a little bit right there conceal that double chin and a little bit on my forehead but just very light because yeah I love my makeup to be very lightweight and also blend it in with your beauty blender Hopefully that created a little bit of shape on my face. And after that I am basically ready to powder. For powder I use this Essence All Matte Translucent Fixing Compact Powder. All about matte it is called. This does not have a shade because it is basically just translucent. White. I cannot open it. It is just white, so I am going to apply this with a very big brush and set everything in place. And followed by a little bit more bronzer. I also have the Essence Bronzer and this is the Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder for a lighter skin. And this is in the shade 01 Natural and I have been using this like a freaking long time. This is lasting me so long. I can honestly say with confidence that I am using this over a year now. And yeah, even though the lid broke off, I still have a lot of product inside of here. So this is very good value for your money. So I'm going to use this to give my face a little bit more color because I am pale. <laughs> But in my opinion, I still need a little bit more color and that is my blush. And for that I use the Mina blush in the shade 103. And it is this beautiful dusky rose color, dusky pink color. And I don't like the very in your face type of blushes. So this subtle one is actually perfect for that. A blush brush and just very lightly dab a little bit of color on my cheeks and I also like to add a little bit of a blush touch on the bridge of my nose and there is a little bit more color in my face <laughs> nine out of ten times at this point I am adding a little bit of tinted lip oil to my lips so it can actually set and uh, give my lips a little bit more color. And once I am done with my full makeup, I can just yeah wipe it off or leave it on and my lips will be tinted. So for lip oil, I use the Essence Cranberry Lip Oil with tinting effect. And yeah, it looks extremely pink, but I promise you it will not be that extreme on my lips. But yeah, I really enjoy using this one and as you can tell probably I'm not really sure how well it shows up on camera, but I have used quite a lot of this so yeah And in the meantime this can just marinate on my lips and give me a little bit more color. I also noticed that I forgot to give my cheeks a little bit of glow. And I'm also this chaotic in the morning. Normally I have like my basic step by step plan what I do. 
but mornings can be a little bit hectic so sometimes you forget a step but I also like to add a little bit of shimmer to my cheeks with this Emco Beauty yeah, glowing highlighter but it is also a little bit of a blush so this is one of those hybrid items but I just grab a little bit on my finger and just dab it on my cheek to give it a subtle glow. And right now I am basically ready for my eye makeup. So I will start by priming my eyelids with a waterproof eyeshadow primer by Catrice. And this is in the shade 010 Matte Rose Nude. And it is basically just a very light nude color. And I just pop a little bit on my eyes. Okay, let's move on to a very subtle eyeshadow look. I use this on a everyday basis. This is the Days Like Me Nude Eyeshadow Palette from Kruidvat, which is a Dutch drugstore and they have a lot of these in different shade ranges, but obviously I went for the one that suited me most. And this is always a pain in the ass to open. Why do they do this? So this just has very natural shades to it. Browns, peach colors, some shimmers, some mattes. So this is actually perfect to create an everyday makeup look. So let's grab one of my brushes. And I am not the neatest person with my eyeshadow look because I just whack it all over with the same brush. But I am starting with the lightest shade right here to make some sort of a transition color. And I'm just going to apply this all over my lids and in my crease. After that I go in with the other shade on the top which is slightly darker to darken up my crease. And sometimes I will add a shimmer to my lids or darken it even more with this lower shade. But I'm not feeling shimmer today so I'm just going to stick with this <laughs> and as a final step I use a big blending brush and I'm just going to blend it out even more to make sure that it is seamless in my skin and I will also grab the first brush and bring it down a little bit on my lower lash line and that is basically my eyeshadow done. <laughs> In my opinion, these shades really make my blue eyes pop. So therefore, I really love to create this simple look every day to make my eyes pop a little bit more. Then I use an eyeliner soft tip and I will apply this on my top lash line on the inside, on the waterline, because I have very light lashes. And if I add some mascara, sometimes it looks like there is yeah, a, a seam of white in between. So this is preventing that. So I am quickly going to do this very close to the mirror. So I'm not even sure if I'm going to be in the screen anymore. But I'm going to apply this on the top. That is the soft tip eyeliner. This was actually by the brand Hema, which is also a Dutch store. And this is just a very basic felt tip. Following that, I sometimes um, add a, a liquid ink eyeliner wing. 
But that is really depending on how much time I have left in the morning. When I'm in a rush, I will skip this step and just apply some mascara, eyebrows and head out the door. But when I have a little bit more time to spare, I will also add some eyeliner and a wing. And since we got plenty of time today, I am going to do that. This is the liquid ink eyeliner that I have been using for a minimum of 10 years. Well, not this exact same tube, but this brand. This is by Essence, the liquid ink eyeliner in waterproof. And I just absolutely love this one extremely small brush applicator and therefore you can be very precise with the wing or eyeliner you want to create this is also a step that i am doing basically almost with my nose against the mirror so i'm going to dive in that corner again i will probably not be on the screen anymore but i will show you the result this is my best try at eyeliner I really noticed that since I am getting a little bit older, everyone is getting older, the skin of my eyelids and my eyelid shape is changing as I'm aging. So I actually needed to switch up my eyeliner shape. And it has been a journey, but overall, it's okay for today. While this is drying, I move up to my eyebrows. So let's get into that. I always start by brushing my eyebrows up. And after that, I am grabbing the Essence Super Last 24 Hours eyebrow, eyebrow, eyebrow Pomade. And I use the shade 10 Blonde. At first they look pretty dramatic but I think this is a perfect match with my hair color because even on camera it just looks almost as red as my normal hair which is such a shame for the blondies because when they pick this up this is definitely going to be too warm for them but for me I'm not complaining Brushing it through again to make the lines a little less harsh and finally is setting them in place with a clear brow gel and for that I'm also using a Mco Beauty, Mco Beauty, Mco Beauty. This is one of those brands that come inside of the Style Tone boxes or maybe the Beauty Evoque boxes but I'm always happy to use a clear eyeshadow, no, a clear eyebrow gel. So I'm just quickly going to set them in place. And I really love the natural, a little bit messy eyebrow look because yeah, that is just the whole vibe that I'm going with. The natural, very lightweight makeup look. So I actually don't like the very straight drawn eyebrow look on myself. So therefore a messy version instead. After that it is time for my lashes. Obviously I am going to curl them with an eyelash curler. And after that I am going to use the L'Oreal Telescopic Intensify. A whole lot of different words. Mascara but just the telescopic one from L'Oreal. So I'm quickly going to do my lashes and I will be back. And since I think this one is way too dramatic for my bottom lashes, I am switching my bottom lashes up with a very small sample of the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. And this one is just a lot more subtle. So I am popping this on my lower lashes. And then the final step in my everyday makeup routine is a setting spray. I use this huge one from Dupree. Dupree, not really sure how to call it. 
Depre Professional Makeup Fix It Spray and yeah, it does not really say anything else than a Fix It Spray, but this is just a very big one. And we will just wait until this dries. So I will be back with the final results. And this is my everyday makeup look done. As you can probably tell, this is very quick, easy and natural, but it still looks pretty put together in my opinion. And my lips have been marinating long enough so that the color is actually visible from the fish oil, what, from the lip oil. So yeah, if you spot me in the streets or at work, nine out of 10 times I will look like this. And this whole makeup routine normally takes me like 15 to 20 minutes when I do it in the morning, depending a little bit on the eyeliner. If I do that, and it is not my day, then sometimes it takes me 25 minutes. But normally this is done in like 15 or 20 minutes and you can go out the door. So yeah, let me know what you think. So that is my everyday makeup routine. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any tips for me. Maybe I am doing something extremely wrong and you think, girl, if you change this, it will change your world. Let me know because I am always down for some handy tips and tricks. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. It would mean a lot to me and you would also be helping me and this channel out a lot. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already and click the little notification bell so you will be updated on every new video I post on this channel. I post new videos every Saturday. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!